Hello, hello, my name is Marsha Nuts, and today I want to show you some of the bracelets that you guys have sent me. You might still hear it a little bit on my voice. I was recently sick, I'm now slowly recovering, but I do feel a little bit better and good enough to film, and I thought I would do a bit of a chill video in which I show you guys the bracelets that you have sent me. These won't be all of the bracelets that have been sent over the years. I've been very lucky enough to receive many, many bracelets from you guys, and I truly appreciate every single one. All of them probably won't fit into one video, which I still want to keep rather short, but it will be a nice collection of bracelets that I have been sent. This video idea was actually suggested by one of you on my Discord server. It was by this user, so thank you so much for your suggestion. I thought it was a great video idea, hence why I'm doing it. If you also want to suggest a video idea for the channel, head over to my Discord server. There is a video suggestions channel in which you can make your suggestions. I'm not very active on that channel, I don't really reply, but I do look through them whenever I'm brainstorming for new video ideas. So definitely check it out and maybe upvote the video ideas that people have put in that you like, or put in your own if you have any. Before I continue with the video, however, I do want to highlight the winners of the second round of my competition. If you don't know, there is currently a competition going on. In fact, you might still be able to submit for round three if you're really quick. If not, you can vote in round three. The vote will start right after submissions finish and round three is the last final round to this competition. So submit if you still have time and don't forget to vote for your fellow knotters in the voting stage. The competition is happening on my Discord server, which is linked in the description of all of my videos. There's a special tab for the competition in which you can get your information. But let me highlight the winners of the second round. So the conditions for the second round of my competition were to make a keychain that is somehow food related. And these were the three winners. So at number one, we've got this absolutely gorgeous keychain with a panda in an ice cream. And I think the pattern is so very cute and the execution is very, very good. Beautiful work, beautiful submission. Thank you so much for participating, it looks gorgeous. In second place, we've got this keychain, which is kind of like lemonade. I think it's very cute as well. I actually have been wanting to make this pattern for a really long time, but I've been putting it off for whatever reason. I might do it this year because of this submission. I think it's really beautiful. Thank you for participating as well. And in third place, we have once again got a beautiful ice cream. It's also a very cute pattern, very big as well. It's very impressive and I think it's really lovely too. Thank you so much for your submission as well. So there we go. Those were the winners of the second round of the competition. Congratulations to all of them and thank you to everyone who did participate in the second round. I really enjoyed looking through the submissions. All right, so let's talk about the bracelets that you guys sent me. First of all, if you also want to send me something, it can be a bracelet, it can be a letter, it can be whatever you like. My PO box address is in the description and I would love to receive a letter from you. And I wanna give a huge thank you to anybody who has sent me any letters or bracelets or anything over the years. I know I don't reply to everyone and that's really sad because I wish I could reply to to every single one of you, but just know that I really do appreciate the time that you put into writing a letter or making a bracelet for me. And it really does make me smile whenever I do get letters from you guys. Anyway, all that being said, let's get into having a look at what you guys actually sent me. So after I sorted through a bunch of the stuff that I have been sent, I realized that some of this isn't gonna be bracelets. I get sent a lot of string, for example, and this is gorgeous string. I actually haven't tried this before. For some reason, I forgot that I was sent this. So good thing that I sorted through my box of stuff that I've been sent. I'll put this in my box of string instead, because this is gorgeous string. I don't know what string it is, but I definitely want to try it. I get sent pictures of cats, Polaroids, and just regular pictures and also pictures of other animals as well. Like, uh, this is a rabbit, I think. And I think that's absolutely adorable. <laughs> I don't know why people decided to send me this, but I am here for it and I love it. So bring it on if you have something like this to send me. I would love to see a picture of your cat or other animal. I also get sent drawings. Look at this, this is adorable. You guys definitely know that I love cats. And I also get a bunch of different stickers. Look at how pretty these are. I need to think of a way to use these. I really do like these stickers quite a bit. And we have other stickers. These are some Pokemon ones and some washi tapes. But I also do get sent bracelets. Look at this one. It has a beautiful charm on it as well. Very nice. So yeah, a lot of these bracelets I'm going to show you guys. I don't actually know the names of everyone who sent me the stuff, which is a little bit unfortunate, but hopefully if you sent me this, you can recognize that you sent me this. I have a ton of bracelets here. All of them are so, so beautiful. This one is shaped as well. It kind of goes in a bit of a 
wave. I don't know if that was intentional, but it looks really nice. And we keep going. You see so many beautiful bracelets here. I think I've made this pattern before. It's a really cool pattern as well. This was a very interesting bracelet. I don't know what the technique was used for this one, but I think it's really nice. Got a Chinese staircase. We've got a braid. All right, I'm gonna put this off to the side. <laughs> this is getting a bit much. This is a shaped bracelet. This one is beautiful. I get so many beautiful bracelets. Like, look at these. And it's so nice to see. I I don't know, people make bracelets so differently from one another. Like, look at these. These have completely different knotting styles, completely different patterns people use. This one says Happy Easter. Completely different color schemes that people prefer. The way that people make their knots is different. This is a huge alpha, look at this. Oh, I think it's supposed to be like this vertical. There we go. It's like a sun and the see that's nice and then even if we have similar patterns like these two patterns are really similar they can look completely different depending on who's making it this one has my name on it and i think that's really cute i'm trying to go through these quickly so i can show you as many as i can but i must say thank you so much for sending me these oh this one i connected because i think the person that sent me this said that the bracelet on the left was what they were making before my tutorials and then the bracelet on the right is what they were making after my tutorials. And I think that that's really cool. You can see so much improvement already. But yeah, I get sent a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous creations and I appreciate every single one of them. I unfortunately am not able to reply to every single letter that I receive, but hopefully you guys can recognize some of the bracelets that you've sent me so you can know that I did receive them and I absolutely love them. I always, always enjoy opening my mail and seeing different letters and bracelets and, and maybe stars made out of beads. These are cool too. Whatever you guys decide to send me, I always have a great time opening it. Look at this one. This one also has my name on it. It's a beautiful bracelet as well. Not a friendship bracelet that we make, but ne nevertheless a bracelet and I think it's cool. Some people also send me unfinished bracelets asking me to finish them for them. I think uh, I have another one somewhere here. Yeah, here we go, another one. I, unfortunately, I haven't been able to finish a bracelet like that before, but people do send me them and I think that's a really cool idea. I wish I could actually spend some time and finish them. And then, oh, look at this. This is such a beautiful color combination as well. I love seeing what different color combinations people come up with. Here we've got a beautiful keychain, butterfly. I love the background string. I think it's really nice. Ooh, I like how the backs look as well. And then here we've got some string and a bracelet. Look at that. Here we've got some more strings and some DMCs. These are really nice DMCs, I like these. But yeah, look at these gorgeous bracelets. What I think I'm trying to say with all of this, with showing all of these bracelets is don't compare yourselves to others because look at how many beautiful bracelets people have created. Every single bracelet here is absolutely unique. I love the string here, by the way, it's multicolored and I think it's really cool. Every single bracelet that I've shown so far is absolutely unique. It has a completely different style, completely different knotting, completely different color schemes, completely different patterns. Everyone creates their own thing and they're all uniquely beautiful. There is no point comparing yourself to others in a negative way. It doesn't help you. And I see so much of that in my comments and so much in other people's comments as well on their Instagram posts and such. And I just always get so sad because look at these, they're so beautiful. So here we've got an Etsy and an Instagram the, and they sent me some beautiful string. This is supposed to be like imitation of silk. And then this is multicolored string that I think they hand dyed. I need to put this in my string box as well instead of my mailbox so that I can actually use it. And then we have this one. Oh, I love this one. I have a thing for rainbow string and I have a thing for sparkly string and this uses both rainbow and sparkly string. So that's like a complete combo for me. I love this, this is so cool. And here we got a letter that consists of four bracelets here. And then we have a letter inside, which I'm not gonna read, but we've got my logo here as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Unfortunately, I don't have the patterns of anything since these are bracelets that were sent to me. But if you know a pattern for something, maybe leave it in the comments and I'll pin it or add it to the video description. I just think it's really cool how different people make their bracelets. Before I go, once again, want to say thank you so much for everyone who sent me stuff over the years. I truly appreciate your time and effort. I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are going to appear on screen right now. Thank you guys so much for your support. It is with your support that I'm able to run this channel and dedicate the time that I do to it. So thank you so, so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. If you also want to become a patron, there is a link in the description in which you can sign up and get 
exclusive packs for your donations. But in any case, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.